Jerry Lewis is, without question, a comedy genius, a fantastic actor with great versatility. And The Nutty Professor, 1963 film, definitely allows him to display a really fantastic range of emotions and just goes to show what he can do in kind of, you know, one just under two hours little package. The film itself, the narrative is reasonable. Um, I kind of like it, but there were things about it that I just thought were really slow and not very exciting. But in terms of the actual performance, absolutely brilliant. And the soundtrack, amazing. So Jerry Lewis's performance is great. The soundtrack is great. The narrative is... The narrative sounds better than what the actual execution is, but it's still relatively enjoyable. So I'll I'll read the description from IMDb, but it's worth also mentioning that this was written and directed by Jerry Lewis, uh, also written by Bill Richmond, as well as starring Jerry Lewis. So it very much is him, and I think it's a great portrayal of his talents uh, in terms of acting. So this says, A timid, nearsighted chemistry teacher discovers a magical potion that can transform him into a suave and handsome Romeo. The Jacqueline Hyde game works well enough until the concoction starts to wear off at the most embarrassing times. So nowadays, this is not a completely unique formula for a film. We There are many films where a character can take a potion and it wears off when they really don't want it to. For example, Polyjuice Potion. I'll be honest, when it begins to wear off, it's not that dramatic, it's not that exciting, it's not that intense, it's not in the most awkward situations. I find like they could have done something more intense and more thrilling for the most part with that aspect, and even just more funny. It wasn't... Those moments were just not as intense as it sounds. Also calling it a Jekyll and Hyde game, I think, is an overstretch because it's not... The contrast is that strong, but it makes it sound like it's scary. But Buddy Love, who is Professor Kelp's alter ego when he takes the potion, is is obviously not scary. He's just an absolute idiot. Uh, he's... You know, he thinks he's the best. He's in love with himself. He's a great singer. And that gives us some a beautiful soundtrack with Jerry Lewis singing. I assume it's Jerry Lewis singing rather than a ghost singer. But I could be wrong. If you know, please let me know. Um, Buddy Love as a character, I, I you know, he's easy to hate. But I love to hate him. Because I think he is a very well written character. I think he's archetypal of those guys who love themselves and think they are amazing. The description on IMDb used the word suave, and I think that's a great word for this. Professor Kelp is timid, exceptionally intelligent. Chemistry is a speciality. He is the ultimate nerd character, um, and it's a bit of a bumbling idiot. And well, idiot in the physical sense, I guess, but he has no like coordination, but not in the in the mental sense. He's very intelligent, and. It also takes a lot to get going. I think it takes about a half an hour for anything to actually happen with this potion. That may not be 100% correct. It may be like 25 minutes or something. But the beginning really dragged and it wasn't going anywhere. And it wasn't very funny. And to be honest, I don't think this is a very funny film at all. I don't think I laughed once. But I did really enjoy Jerry Lewis's performance. So there were aspects of this, of this that I thought were good and well-constructed. But the actual narrative, I think, could have been a lot more. It could have been a lot better. They could have done a lot more with it. It is well received. It's, it's got 6.6 .6 out of 10 on IMDb, which is a pretty decent rating and not something to be scoffed at. That is a, a, a reasonable rating for IMDb. I just feel like it wasn't as good as I kind of was led to believe it would be. It's not the worst film by any stretch. Certainly not my favourite Jerry Lewis film, but he has done some great stuff. I think, think this is the first one that I've seen that he's directed, but again, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. It's decent enough. It's not great. The, the, the For me, there is no comedy. The narrative is very slow and very repetitive as well. Exceptionally repetitive and... Kelp's relationship with Stella Purdy, played by Stella Stevens, very well acted, but the character itself, I, I just, I didn't get that relationship, particularly when he was being Professor Kelp. I found it very awkward and uncomfortable. 
and just not something that I thought worked very well. That bit was not very well written at all. So I would recommend The Nutty Professor because Jerry Lewis is great. But if you're looking for a, if, well, maybe gripping is not the right word, but if you're looking for a funny, engaging, entertaining narrative, definitely the 1963 version is, is not going to provide that. But as a case study on how an actor can be exceptionally diverse, with this one, Jerry Lewis has hit the nail on the head.